So this is the second part to my um, Tom Tom videos. A lot of you people have been asking for the maps, how the maps look, and that was the beat for a security camera. Um, so I'm just going to show you. This is a 3D view at the moment. I'm actually driving, if you can't see. Um, well, no, I'm not driving, but someone is. Um, so this is this. That was that was a 3D map. You can go into a 2D map, which shows you a different view site. You can also change the colours, so you can have it day colours and that's changed into day colours and I like 3D better so I'm going to go back to 3D. After 300 yards, turn right. So yeah, that was, um, you can change the voices as well and I think it's pretty accurate. Having used uh, the standalone Tom Tom version, I can't see any difference, any significant difference. It's pretty much got everything else, the, ch the, the voices, the miles, the turns. So this is going to be another quick demo of the Tom Tom whilst I'm in the car and I just want to show you a different viewpoint of this um, software. So let's go to navigate to address and let's put in Darnley if it shows up. No. Let's put in, yeah just let's do this Giffnick. Air Road and the number 25 and you just press select. Note how fast it actually calculates the route. Tells you how long it's going to take you to get there and how many miles and the street number and uh, the area that you want to go in and you just press done and that's it going. Obviously I've missed that particular route turn so... Left. Then at the end of the road, turn left. Because I've missed that route, it's shown, given me alternatives cool thing you can also do is if you go into route options turn left then take the second left find alternative and calculate an alternative route to get there and as you can see it's recalculated that route pretty fast let's see what else we can do route options you can get a route demo which basically takes you through in advance of where you're going to go route options again Instructions and it gives you a written text, tells you where you're going to turn, how many meters, how many miles, sorry, street names, and your end destination. So, yeah, I just wanted to point this out as well. We're on our way to McDonald's and I haven't fed the information into this software yet, so let's do that. Point of interest along the route. Turn left. Restaurant and let's McDonald's. And it's calculated the nearest McDonald's, which is in Thornley Bank. And let's press select. And it's saying there's no GPS fix right now. Yes. And it's within a range of 3.25 minutes and after 200 yards, turn left. <laughs> it's within a mile. This noise is getting annoying. So you press done and it calculates the route for you. So if you go into a 2D map, it's pretty precise. Turn left. This PUI thing is pretty cool. And let's change the settings, the voice, and change it into lorry, which is... You have reached your destination. You have reached your destination. That's a bit better. So for some reason if you want to call the place you're going to in advance or if you're going to a takeaway or something and you want to give your order over the phone uh, and a um, simple way to do that is if you click, um, hit call POI along route and restaurant since we're going to McDonald's not that McDonald's take phone orders but hey, hit McDonald's and you can call McDonald's there and then from your phone and I'm not going to call them, I'm just going to press cancel so this is another great feature of the POI's call function within the TomTom. Um, I hope uh, this review, so to speak, is useful and um, hope you comment below. Thanks.